Hi, this is Debbie at the Quilt Journal, and today I'm going to be doing this orange peel all over design that I did on this little table topper. And historically, when we do a orange peel, we would start at um, an intersection or in a corner, and you would weave to one side or another all the way up to the top, and then come back on the opposite direction and do this one pass after another until you've covered the quilt in both directions. It works pretty well when you're doing that as long as you keep your eye to the next intersection. Your foot has a tendency to flow that way on small grid designs, but when you get into the bigger designs I feel that you begin to get a lot more wobble in here and that's where I liked the templates. Um, on this I use the accents and design fine line rulers. Of course, you never have the, the size that you actually really need. And a friend of mine had given me this highlight tape for a knit pattern. And you can see through it when you put it on your fabric. I just marked my template where I wanted that line to be. I kind of wish that they would have gone ahead and given me quarter inches all the way up. It would have been a nice little design feature that you could use for different things too. But this works out okay. I just put my highlight tape on it and you have to make sure you leave yourself a quarter of an inch for your ruler foot to each side of that and follow it on up the line. When I did this, my orange peel pattern, what I'd like you to notice, falls on the seam line and it comes in its little starburst coming out from in the seam line. The next one I'm going to do a, a demo on. I was up one night and I came across these little templates which is actually from a company called uh, TCR Graph um, Engineering Engraving and Graphics. I think it's for drafting and graphic art and things like that and it came in a three inch, a two inch, a one inch and then they sent you this keychain which you could just take the chain out and it actually is an inch and a half. Um, I put the Next Care tape on the back of it which you know I had seen Patsy Thompson on her blog talking about and it works pretty well for holding your templates where you want them to be. I probably still like the little grippy dots that you can get at the hardware store a little better but you know all in all for I got the the four templates for $11.95 on Amazon. They are a quarter of an inch. They are divided in half each way so you can line them up. Um, I thought that they were a pretty good little buy. Anyway, so let's take it on over to the sewing machine and see how that stitches out differently. Okay, here is the same orange peel design but done with little half inch circles. And here, if you take a look, you can see what I'm talking about, how it lines up a little bit different. With the orange peels being inside the block instead of falling on the seam lines, you have the petals coming into the block. Um, let's go ahead and get started. And you can get a feel for how I travel around my block. Now I put my line on my circle and on this one it actually makes a little deeper bite into that because I am able to go the full half circle where on the accents and design because I was improvising and it didn't quite fit that square my bite into each block just wasn't as deep now one of the biggest helpful hints I can give you when you're doing this is, is do a mock-up like this first and get your feel your mojo going um, what you're gonna find when you come around that top, much like when I did the eclipse border, you either need to slow down your hands or speed up your foot pedal because your stitches, you, as you pull around the top of there, your stitches will get big on you and you won't be real happy with how they look. But it goes real quickly. 
And we can just follow it along. There is equally a fair amount of fudge if you get and you, and you keep your eye to the corner, just like when you were doing it the old way where you would weave from one side to the next. Keep your eye on that ruler foot, pushing it up against the edge of the template but you have to be glancing and keeping an eye to where you're shooting for also at the same time. Um, so that if you need to slide that template over a little bit, you can. And bring it in fairly close to the corner. If you're not right on it, don't stress out about it. It's still, when it's all done, and I'm doing this in red, on muslin so that you can see the texture and the design but obviously you wouldn't do that on your quilt you would, you would do it in something that enhanced your quilt design either it blend it or bought out the colors in your background fabric. Now, I had started at one side and bought it all the way down and I ended up here. And this is what I'm saying about not stressing. Your choices are you can either cut your, your threads here or you can kind of travel and you can just stitch in the ditch if that was the case if you didn't want to cut your threads and bring it on over. And the best way when you do this that I found to, to make it just go around the blocks easiest is when you start out, go up one row all the way on one side. And just travel up the one side going around that template. Do not worry about working your way around each square at this point. Because if you just have this first row done, the, the working your way back just becomes so much easier. You saw me come down. And then once you get to the top, this part is just back to where we were when we started this video. You're just going to work your way around kind of in a clockwise fashion. And you'll find that it runs along pretty smoothly. pretty good. So I hope that you will give this a try. I've enjoyed it. You can see the difference of how the size of this template 
has made where, like I said, the orange peel or kind of like the little flower is more so to the inside taking up the center part of this block. And it just makes for a real pretty pattern. I hope you've enjoyed this. Once again, I'm Debbie at thequiltjournal.com. And if you want any more information on this, just visit my blog, www.thequiltjournal.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.